This is the review of the latest MaxFind FF Pro that has a speed of up to 45 kilometers an hour and a range of 45 kilometers. I test the board, I give my overall opinion in this video, so do enjoy it and any questions feel free to post them below. Now I did have an electric skateboard in the past which was not actually a really good experience. Hopefully this is much better. Spec is much better and it's the latest model as well. It appears to be a box in a box. But the wheels are much bigger than the previous board that I had. I normally do review electric scooters but I'm always curious to try, whoop, to try something new. So that's why I'm definitely gonna try this. Let's just see what we get. Branded, really nice. USB-C cable, operations instructions and air remote. Huge shout out to MaxFind for sending me their latest FF Pro board. And the first board I wasn't really comfortable with. It didn't have a lot of flex, a lot of give. And this one definitely does. Now I'm not an expert in electric skateboards. I review kind of electric scooters that I did get from MaxFind a while ago. But they did send me the board to review and to give my own personal opinion on it. And one of the things that I really like is that this does have of course the handle which makes life a lot easier and the board itself actually has a lot of flex on it which gives you a bit of suspension going over bumps and there's less vibration actually Let's briefly talk about the spec of the FF Pro. The motors are 1000 watt each given 6 new meters which is more than enough it does have the, of course the fast swap battery design and the battery itself is a Samsung 12 series 8.7 amp hour 376 watt hour 48 volt battery. It has 11.4 inch double kingpin trucks giving you the flexibility that are precision machined which is nice to see. It's also IPX5. Take a look at gear 4 here. I mean it's absolutely nuts. It's going the opposite direction. I mean, that, that is absolutely nuts to speed on this type of board. The remote is actually really good on this. You have the acceleration brake, you have the USB port to charge it. You have a small screen here like I showed. And uh, it's light as a feather, of course, do not lose this. I would definitely be keeping this somewhere safe and wrap it around your wrist. So yeah, just be careful. Now the specs on this board, I think they are definitely, you know, a bit up there. The 45 km per hour top speed and 45 km range and over 30 degrees hill climbing ability. I don't have hills like that around my area, so I can't actually test it. But I gotta say, it is actually more comfortable than I thought it would be. You have these nice big wheels here. You have really good trucks on it, which give you nice flexibility, make for a smoother ride. Also on this, you do actually have a swappable battery. So if you wanted, you could buy a, another battery from MaxFind, have it in your backpack, and then when you wanna swap it out, you simply just untwist this and then put the new battery in and away you go. I do like actually the back of it as well here where the battery compartment is, it's of course completely sealed. No water is gonna get in there, which is what you want. You have your on button here, and then of course you have your charging port. You of course have the quick release motor cables as well. The weight of the board is actually, you know, it's a piece of cake to be completely honest. I'm more used to lifting elect electric scooters that are like 30, 40 kilos in weight. So for this, it's no problem at all. Overall build quality on is actually really good. I was a bit afraid at the start when I was testing how actually flexible the board is. For my weight, I'm 82 kilograms. Any rider out there that has electric skateboards that goes over 40 kilometers an hour on this, I mean, all I can say is, well done. Of course, you're being completely safe. Of course, you need rolls that are really smooth like this tarmac right behind me here. For me, I just have it on gear one. And the torque on it is actually, you can see it's really good actually the torque on gear one. Braking is actually quite good on this. A big mistake that a lot of people make when they want to get like an electric skateboard, electric scooter, whatever the case is, is that they end up getting the lower end models that have kind of like the smaller end speeds, like 15, 20 kilometers an hour. And I think for something like this, because you have gears one through four, you can like for, I would consider myself a complete beginner when it comes to electric skateboard. So for this, I would stick to gear one for now. And as your confident builds, you can go on to gear two, three and four. Plus, because you have bigger range on this actual model, 
you wouldn't really need to invest in another board unless you were some, going for something really crazy high end. And I think for that reason, it is actually worth what it's being priced at in my opinion. I think anything higher, it's a bit too expensive. But I think it's like a beginner, beginner board and something you can just get accustomed to over time and become more confident on the higher end speed. I think MaxFind have actually done a great job with this board. It's given me the confidence to, I guess, grow as a person who rides electric skateboards every now and then, if, if that's what the case is gonna be. I think they have put a lot of thought into this, considering the handle, the speed, it does have it does seem to have good IP rating as well and it can give you the confidence in stopping it can give you the hill climbing ability that you have there it can give you the range so I think for that reason they've done a fantastic job with the FF Pro if you want to check out the latest prices on the FF Pro definitely click the link below in the meantime stay safe and I will talk to you in the next video